Yeah. So you can see the patches, the, the actual um, assignments for the various controls, what they're assigned to do. You get an overview. If you go to the effects page, you can see that you have insert effects and they tell you what's in the chain by the icons. Um, you can change the effect chain, certainly. This is the graphics, a yeah. lot more legible. Yep, so you can change to different types of uh, effects that might have been on other bases. They've named them according to right. the patches yeah. they've been on, which is good. And you have these uh, two auxiliary effects that you can use, and you can send post or pre to them, which is really nice. Your common page, basically, you're setting your pitch bend range, things like that. Cool. So very simple, but if you want to go deeper, there's a sound tower um, editor that is will run on a PC, on a Mac. It'll run on your uh, tablet, on your... Um, iPad, and then it'll run, as I understand, also in your DAW, almost kind of like a controller for your uh, for your synthesizer, like a cool. virtual plugin. What does vast editing look like on this? Like, uh, remember what the old algorithms looked like on the on the K two thousand? From my understanding, it looks very much like what you see in a PC three K kind of uh, that kind of capability. I don't know that you have the ability to wire up uh, different boxes in random, but um, certainly you see DSP boxes and sources and different. DSP modules that fit into boxes. Cool. Um, so really, that's the 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 greatest thing that they did to me in a, in a long time is that the new recordings they're fresh. You have like new sounds. The the incredible depth of the velocity control that you get over the new sounds with eight dynamic levels, giving you USB was a great thing. So you have storage to a, a universally accepted medium, which is a thumb drive at this point. USB connectivity to the computer where you can send bi-directional MIDI, you can send patches, data, retrieve data, you can communicate with your editor. So a lot of things, uh, four outputs, you got the main group out, secondary group out, out B. Um, they didn't cheap on the foot switch pedals, you get three and you get two CC pedals, so they were thinking yeah, about mastering Q as well. Yep. Faders all feel good, it's all like, you know, it's all beefy, yeah. um, nice feeling controls feel as well. Good. Yeah, no short throw freighters. They're nice. Yeah. So what is uh what is this gonna map for? Um, in the United States, from thirty nine ninety nine. Cool. All right. Well, well, we'll get into talking more about the technology as well. But that is a first look at the Kurtzweil Forte. Chris, thanks a lot. Thank you.